In his State of the Union address last Tuesday, President Obama held a strong focus on the middle class. Stronger families, stronger communities, a stronger America. It is this kind of prosperity, broad, shared, built on a thriving middle class, that has always been the source of our progress at home. Just got hit with another tax increase at a time when one in four people are already living paycheck to paycheck. Joining me now, Glenn Nocera, a campus police officer. Hey, Glenn. Hello. Kellen Guida, the president of Kellen Projects, and Spencer Holden, an independent insurance agent. Morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, how tough is it for you? Uh, well, you know, it's uh, about $40 after every two weeks that I get paid. That's a difference in my paycheck. Now, the president said that he, you can't cut your way to prosperity. Right. Well, well, Mr. President, you can't tax and spend your way to prosperity. Uh, if, I expected the president to come out in the State of the Union address dressed up as Santa Claus, uh, all the goodies that he wanted to give out that night. Uh, we have. So uh, how does that make you feel uh, that when you're, you're taking another uh, hit in your paycheck... Sure. When you see this, it, it, it disgusts me because uh, you, you see the economy the way it's right. going towards. You have the, uh, 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 the growth rate at a 0.1% growth compared to a 3.1% growth from the prior quarter. You have uh, uh, Social Security tax went up like 4.2% yeah. to 6.2%. It's hurting Americans, and we, we can't uh, afford this. And, and Kellen, right you, you're making more than, than Glenn. But what are your issues in terms of this 2% and in terms of where we're going with our paychecks? You know, ultimately, we see it in the bottom line. But also, ultimately, I heard the griping from my employees as well. They noticed it immediately when it started you know, showing up in their paychecks. Ultimately, you know, you, what you have is you know, Obama and Pelosi and the Democrats are talking about a middle class. And ultimately, I, th I see the difference between a government class and the middle class. You have Obama golfing with Tiger Woods yesterday, and you have Nancy Pelosi saying it's beneath the dignity of congressmen to take a tax cut, a pay cut, because that's what they're talking so about. So what you're Congress. saying is that there's a permanent government, government class that these rules don't apply to, that they live a lifestyle that other folks don't have the capacity for. Is that right? Absolutely. Uh, Spencer Holden, you're the president of your own insurance agency. Are you seeing it with yourself? Are you seeing it with your customers? What are people feeling when they're trying to scrape dollars together to get homeowners, auto, all kinds of insurance that they need in their lives? Everybody's seeing it. And as a trusted choice independent insurance agent, I work with about 3,000 families on their home and auto insurance. And people are suffering. Every day I have a conversation with another client who is desperate, desperate to reduce their cost. And interesting in my business, we're seeing losses go up because people are deferring maintenance. They're not buying new tires on their cars. They're not putting new roofs on their houses. And so losses are actually happening. So all of this spirals out of control. Spencer, Kellen, Glenn, thanks for sharing. Thanks. Good, Good to see you. We'll see you guys again. Be well. Thank you.